Why carbon? So let me give you a bunch of reasons why carbon is important. Okay? You want to note these down. More concepts for you. Carbon forms really strong bonds. So it can be really stable. Really strong bonds. Carbon, unlike a lot of other uh, elements, can bond to itself. Seems kind of straightforward that it would bond to itself, but carbon's a really unusual that's really good at bonding itself to itself. So it can form long chains, it can form rings, it can form branches that look like trees. All kinds of structures can be formed and thus making complex life because it can bond to itself with strong bonds. So it can make both simple compounds and very complex compounds. Um, carbon can also not only single bond to itself, but it can double and triple bond to itself. Again, a very unusual thing. That's why I'm making it special. Other elements are not as savvy to this. Even it, along its same column, like silicon, uh, can't quite do the same thing. Not as strong, uh, not as unique. Carbon also contain, can, carbon molecules can contain functional groups. What is that? That is a group attached to the molecule that has a very specific function. And you can have multiple functional groups, and I'll, I'll give you examples later. But you have multiple functional groups attached to one molecule. So that's why life, as we know it, all contains carbon. You go find aliens somewhere, they've got to have carbon. In order to exist, because there's no other elements in fact, I was watching Iron Man 2. Did anybody see that? In the middle of the movie, he made a new element. Do you see that? I'll talk about that when we get to nuclear chem. But that, that is near ridiculous, though possible, uh, the way he made it. But it's not like we're going to make a new element that's going to act like carbon. Does that make sense? Like, life just has to do with carbon. It's just funny that way. OK, if we take all the molecules that exist, all the different types of molecules, what percent do you think are organic? About 90% of different types of molecules are organic. Only 10% of the different types are uh, inorganic. So everything we've studied so far in our class has been the 10%. And that's why there's a whole class on the 90% called organic chemistry. So great importance to our life. Um, okay. I need to talk a little bit about structure.